Hello, my name is Sasha Dugdale. I'm going to read from a poem called Joy, which is the title poem of my book, um, which was published by Carcanet in 2017. Joy is a monologue spoken by Catherine Blake, who is the wife of William Blake, the painter, an artist and poet. In this monologue, Catherine is a widow, William has just died, and she is remembering their life together. And she's remembering it in grief, but also with joy, the joy of recollecting the time they spent together. The part that I'm going to read includes a very famous episode from William Blake's life when a friend catches him and Catherine reading together naked and they're reading, I think, Milton together on the terrace naked. The walls are wordless. There is a clock ticking. I have woken up from a dream of abundant colour and joy. I see his face and he is a shepherd and a piper and a god. I see him bent by the grate, setting the fire, and he is a fallen demon. I see him listening to the wind and sorrowing. I see wrath and misery, fire and desolation. A thousand fires in ancient London and then the grass comes silent, silent, with the hardest colour of all, the mirth colour, the corn colour, the summer night colour. A thousand, thousand summer nights pass, and children weave their daisy chains and place them on the heads of fallen idols. He wept, he wept more tears than there were days, and never chained the door, lest, he said, we drive an angel from it. And every morning he dipped his brush in wrath and mildness, and out of him tumbled the biggest things of all, all of them writer than the rightest calculation, and truer than any compass. Yet where they were right and true, none could say, and how they were right and true, none could guess. But I knew, I knew. He was an eye, and the eye wept and frowned and smiled. The eye watched, the eye watered. The world was a moat in that eye. The moat was a world in that eye, and his brush was a blade, and his tears made a lake. How I ache, how I ache sole partner and sole part of all these joys he read to me in the summer house where we sat when mr butts came knocking and found us naked reading as we read every warm day the poor man liked to tell that story to everyone as proof of the wildness of our life though it never did seem wild to me but consistent in all respects and full of holy sobriety which looks to the untrained eye like wild joy. William stood then and made a deep bow to Satan, who had been watching and said, you are welcome to our garden, sir. Satan had a round, sad face like a water wheel and seemed tired and full of pity. He wore his rainbow snake around him and when he saw we meant him no harm, he bowed and shriveled to a vapour. But Mr. Butts came in and ate some grapes.